Hey everybody. Today is Sunday um, and I'm up here in the northern part of Zealand to do a little airsoft action. It's uh, Sunday and I, I brought this to see if I can get a little uh, sniper action. And of course I also brought uh, a few other guns. This and my not so trusty uh, M4 style rifle, but uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do this Sunday, so uh, I've always also brought my camera to see if I can uh, do a little uh, film or, or two, but uh, if it works out good, I'll put them up uh, later this week, so see ya. Okay, so I'm home now for uh, from my Sunday adventure uh, at the airsoft field. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't uh, work out quite the way I hoped it would be. Uh, it would do. Uh, didn't get to use the sniper rifle as much. Only two games uh, because first game uh, we got my team got completely run over. So uh, with enemies uh, within the safety distance, 20 meters, <coughs> I had to uh, switch to a pistol, so not too good. And the uh, second game, uh, yeah, in the middle of the second game, I, I kind of uh, tried to um, take cover and down in the bunker, and there was a bit of uh, camouflage netting, net hanging, and. Uh, when I ran down at uh, pretty good speed, uh, my uh, action cam was uh, kind of uh, hung in the in the in the net, so it got completely ripped off. And uh, the only thing that uh, saved me with my mask on uh, was the chin strap to to keep the mask on. But the camera got completely ripped off, uh, and uh, a part of the the mount, uh, yeah, flew. Uh, Right off, and uh, I had to use like five, ten minutes to um, to find it again. Uh, but I saw some of the good uh, old school airsoft spirit. Uh, I had two other players that uh, that came and uh, tried to help me finding that little uh, piece that uh, went missing. Uh, so that was really nice to see, and uh, I would like to uh, send my thanks to those two guys because that was the right spirit. So that was it for the sniper rifle, um, and uh, then I, <coughs> since I already had loaded magazines for the for the the AR, I kind of felt it would be a smart thing to use that. So I went with a couple of games with that one, and uh, without any camera, um, and then. The, I used the camcorder to uh, make some really good films uh, of the the fort games. We had two uh, fort games where you have to uh, conquer a fort, um, but those games just became really, really, really long, uh, like 40 minutes each. So yeah, I think that would be a hell of a lot of uh, editing to do in that uh, with those games. Uh, but I'm I pretty busy right now, and we got the fall uh, vacation coming up, so I don't have much time. Uh, but I'll try to see if I can put up uh, at least uh, one good video this week. Um, and then uh, after those uh, two fault games, I had one, uh, yeah, normal domination game, uh, also with the camcorder, and uh, then. Uh, for the last uh, two games, uh, I shot myself with the with the air as well. But uh, that was it, really, for my uh, my Sunday adventures. Uh, and uh, of course, it takes a, a lot of time uh, doing those uh, airsoft videos. But uh, as long as uh, people appreciate them, I'll do uh, I'll do them and uh, make more videos. But uh, of course, most people <laughs> love to see themselves uh, doing the thing they love, uh, playing airsoft. So, um, yeah, what else is there to, to say and do than uh, continue to play and uh, continue to do uh, videos. So, that was it for me and uh, my uh, Sunday adventures. Uh, 
I'll see you later.